Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to talk to you about some of the differences between ACT desktop software, which many of you have used in the past, and the web-only version of ACT software, or what's known as ACT CRM SaaS. There's subtle differences, so let's take a quick look at what ACT looks like when you use the SaaS version. So this is ACT in a web browser. Looks like ACT, it feels like ACT, there are some subtle differences you might notice right off the bat. Having stated that, some of the differences are fairly subtle. This is the desktop version of ACT. And with this illustration, I'd like to talk to you about some of the differences. And I want to break this down into two simple parts. The top, across the top, and the left-hand side. So really, all they've done with the web version of ACT, and I'll go back to that real quick so you can see it, all they've done is they've really moved some things. On that note, on the left hand side, ACT has a search box and what they've done is in the web version they've moved it down to the bottom. Also there are some options here under more options, the things I've highlighted in green, those no longer are there just because you don't need them in the web version. So really what they've done is primarily use the search box and move that down to the bottom. When we look across the top, up in this area, right up here, all these icons in the web version moved over to the right. Also, some of this information here also moved over to the right. So they've just moved the real estate around. ACT also has something that, frankly, a lot of people don't even really use called the Universal Search Box, which is right here. Now it's going to be in the middle of the screen up top in the web version. And let me show you the web version again so you can see that. So now you'll see there's icons here, there's some items here, and here is the search box right there. So again, let's jump back to the desktop version and you'll see some of the subtle differences. Really, it's just moving the real estate around. The functionality is all the same. Having said that, let's compare both of these items side by side. So this is the left hand side. On the left is the traditional desktop act software. On the right is the web software. So all you'll see is that they've sort of flipped things around where the search box is down at the bottom in the web version. Let's move on from this. This, again, is a glance at the web version. And again, it's, it's what you come to expect. It just looks slightly different because of the design aspect. But having said that, it's really no big deal. Also, I want to address the top of ACT. In other words, across the top, how it differs. And this is a side-by-side -side comparison of how they look. So across the top is the desktop version of ACT, and again, you can see how things have moved. On the bottom is the web-based version of ACT, and things have just been moved slightly. It's a subtle thing you'll, you'll frankly get used to really quick. But there is one thing that I want to show you in this example that will give you some more information to be aware of. When you look across the top of the ACT desktop, you'll see there's an option here, File, View, and Help. You'll notice that File and View are not available down here. And the reason for that is when you work with ACT in the web version, some things work differently. So the way you're gonna see the view can work differently. You still have different layouts you can work with, those will come around. But the help function in ACT, which you're used to up here, is now way down on the right-hand side by clicking on this little question mark. So fundamentally, the software is the same. There's subtle little differences that make it different, but those are things you'll get used to. But I just wanted to make you aware of it because I think the better educated you are going into this, the better the experience you'll have. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz, and as always, if you have questions on any of this, reach out to me at the following phone number. Thank you very much. Have a great day.